Hello and welcome to Bry Stories. As I mentioned to many of you, I lived for a long, long time in England. And one of the things my friends loved when visiting us was this amazing chicken poiki. I refer to it as a mild Mexican chicken pot. And it is so mild, even children love this. Adults, old people, young people, children, it's a people loving dish. I'm immediately going to begin and put this pot on the fire so it can heat up. While this pot is heating up, I can't think of a better Chenin Blanc than the Spear Chenin Blanc to enjoy this mammoth occasion. It is so nice and light and fresh and Chenin like this really brings out the best in this amazing poiki. Cheers! For the first step, we only need the following ingredients as shown on the screen. We can now add some olive oil into the heated pot. We can now add the chicken pieces and fry them until golden. Just look how lovely this chicken looks. Once golden brown on all sides, you can take them off and put them to the side. As soon as the chicken is out, you can add the onion, the garlic and the chili. And we will now fry it until soft and golden. These onions smell simply amazing. As soon as the onions are nice and soft, we can put the chicken back and move over to step two. The flavors, the smell, the aroma, it is simply something to write home about. For the second step, we only need the following few items. We can now add the 250 milliliters of water. We are now going to add the one cup of Aquila Basmati rice. Personally, I prefer the Aquila brand because it is light and fluffy and it absorbs all that wonderful, wonderful juices. We can now also add the six medium potatoes which we cut into cubes to the pot. The five to six carrot sticks which we've made the button mushrooms the peeled tomatoes which we've cut into cubes as well as the tablespoon of mixed herbs we can now add the lid and close the pot for about 30 minutes Poiki like this always is such a nice relaxing time with friends. Oh, this just looks outstanding. And we can now go over to step three. Step three is for the frozen peas and the flavorings. We add one coffee mug of frozen peas. We now also add 30 milliliters of sugar. 20 milliliters of salt, one crumbed chicken stock cube, 15 milliliters of medium curry powder, also some black pepper and lemon pepper to taste, about 7.5 milliliter. And finally, a nice wine glass full of that Spear Chenin Blanc for extra flavor. We can now add the lid for a further 30 minutes. It's now about an hour since we put the lid on the pot and it is time to remove it and to stir everything nicely through. I am so excited to see how it looks on the inside. Oh, it just looks super exquisite. We are now just going to lift everything up so it mixes nicely before we can serve. We don't want the meat to break too much 
when we lift it up and mix everything through. And now we can serve and enjoy. From this food, I serves a generous portion. I simply cannot wait to taste this feast. This chicken simply falls apart. Mm -hmm. The chicken, the sweetness of the veggies, the little strength from the spices breaking through, just absolutely amazing. Until we see each other again on Dry Stories. Goodbye.